Hey friends, I wanted to take a minute and share something that I've been working on for native PHP mobile. Um, and we are talking about OAuth. Uh, specifically for today, I'm using work OS, uh, as I've seen a couple tickets come in regarding, uh, getting work OS working. And it's something that we should fully support regardless and wanted to tackle it. So the, the, um, challenge here is with inside of an app context, um, with the typical OAuth flow, you would click a button. I have a test button here. It could be called anything uh, to log in or create a user, etc. And that's going to open up um, uh, some. Well, you can choose. You know, are you trying to log in with um, Google or GitHub or any of the providers? Um, and when that's when that's done, part of the URL that you're you're sending over has a redirect component to it, and that tells that uh, that provider where do you want to send the data back to. Well, inside of an app, there's not a URL for the app, except for deep links, and there's API links and um, universal links, and I'm not API link, app links and universal links um, that also work, but in that lies another issue. So even if we used app links or universal links which are HTTPS versus a deep link, which is like my app colon slash slash. There's a different schema there that your phone, you register with your device to handle um, certain URLs or schemas for URLs. Um, so if I were to open up a, 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 an HTTPS request to open up, say, you know, like logging in with work OS, that's going to open up inside of Chrome. Well, if my redirect back URL, even if it's HTTPS, Chrome is going to handle that for me and it's not going to know what my app colon slash slash is. And if I use some other sort of URL, any kind of URL, HTTPS or other, it's going to intercept that call and it's never going to send the data back to my app where I actually need it. So the typical flow here then is to have a uh, basically a new tab open up or a web view tab open up inside of the app itself. And that's what we've done here. Um, and this is the, the recommended and supported way. This is how actually if you open up any other app and you go to log in, you'll notice that it kind of opens up in front of the application. It doesn't open up in Chrome or Safari or whatever your native browser is or your default browser is. It opens up in front of the app. Um, and that's the way that we have this handle on uh, being able to control the callback for that. So I went ahead and cleared all my users out of uh, work OS and I'm just going to click this button here, test, and you're going to see it's opening up work OS. Now it said for a second there that it was opening up inside of Chrome, but if I look here, you can see that this is actually a tab that's owned by my application, right? So uh, clicking on that, I'm going to go ahead and log in with Chrome. Now I don't think I'm logged in. Oh, looks like I am. Yeah, so that just that just worked. I didn't know if I was logged into um, to Gmail uh, with that with this device or not. But that sent back my avatar. It sent back my email address and my name and all the things. And we're just using Laravel Starter Kit for this right now, just to see like natively, just just kind of default stuff. Now there is something that I had to implement for. Um, for this, and that's a way to open up the apps inside of this uh, new tab, essentially. And so we did create a new uh, PHP method. It's I think it's native PHP underscore custom underscore tab or something. You just pass in a URL, and you can open up this uh, this this tab that you have uh, full control over. So that's going to be the way that you handle redirect um, for OAuth. And if I come back here and I just refresh this, we can see, yep, there's my user. Uh, and we're all set, ready to rock and roll. So there we go.